Um, hi, I'm Honoré and this is Marty. Um, and we're from King's School, Canterbury. Um, our post is about cloud seeding, which is um, but, uh, changing the amount of precipitation by dispersing substances in the sky to make it um, rain, snow, or yeah. Um, and we are, our presentation is on cloud seeding with um, silver iodide, which is a type of static cloud seeding. And we've chosen silver iodide because um, it's more transportable and therefore it's more effective than dry ice. Um, um, silver iodide is used because it has a really similar um, structure, structure to ice, as you can see here. Um, and um, basically, um, a thin film of water molecules go onto um, the silver iodide crystal, um, and it orientates itself um, to form a ice structure before it freezes. And this serves as a um, condensation nuclei, which other uh, water drop that then joins onto and it gets heavy enough and it snows or rains. Um, and so cloud seeding occurs in um, super cool clouds, um, which are clouds which have basically water and liquid form under zero degrees C. Um, and so there are two uh, main types to transport silver iodide. Uh, one is airborne here and then the other one is ground-based generator. Um, and so when you expose silver iodide powder to um, high temperatures, um, it vaporizes, and then when, as it cools, it forms minute particles of um, silver iodide, which um, can be, which are then used for cloud seeding, which is a diameter of 0.01 to 0.1 micron. Um, so in an airborne generator, um, silver iodide is put into a solution of potassium iodide in acetone, um, which is then burnt um, in the generator outside the plane. Um, forming a pyronectic flare where um, part, um, silver iodide is vaporised and then when it cools um, it forms crystals which act as the um, condensation nuclei. Um, and so with ground based generators there are two ways. Um, using the same potassium iodide acetone solution um, you can either um, impregnate it into charcoal or coke um, and then burn it or um, use a hypodermic needle and put it in a propane gas flame. Um, uh, potassium iodide acetone solution is used because silver iodide cannot um, dissolve in pure acetone alone. Um, and so there, um, however, there are disadvantages to this. For example, um, obviously acetone is um, very flammable, and so um, having it on, or burning it on an airplane is obviously very dangerous. And this is why. For starters, generators are placed on the outside of airplanes, um, and then also to get the maximum um, effect, um, um, the planes have to fly target upwind, have to fly upwind from the target area to ensure that the largest volume can be covered by the um, silver sort of iodide crystals. This is because the um, average output of the generator on the plane is about 10 to the 13 particles per a meter cube, but for it to be effective, is only 10 to 3 to 4 is needed, so um, by flying it upwind, it covers a larger area and less silver iodide is wasted. Also, for a ground-based generator, one of the negatives is that um, it needs the particles need to travel to high altitude, um, which takes a lot of time because they're carried with horiz by horizontal wave current. Um, yeah, and um, for example, in summer months in USA, that altitude is about seventeen thousand to two thousand feet. Twenty thousand feet, feet, sorry, <laughs> um, which does take a lot of wind to carry on. Um, so clouding has actually been proven to work. For example, in the Beijing Olympics, um, they used it to ensure that the um, opening ceremony was precipitation free, um, and they did this. But they used actually used silver iodide, but instead of putting it um, in planes, they put them in rockets, um, and they used 1,110 rockets, um, which they fired over um, to ensure that on the day, um, and this cost um, 50 million US dollars. Um, however, um, although that sounds very expensive, it did save money overall because um, the main stadium of the Beijing Olympics didn't have a roof, um, and so building the roof would have um, been an extra 43 million US dollars for the um, taxpayers in China whereas building, um, just using cloud seeding um, was paid by the government, so it saved lots of money.
and the more general use is in ski resorts where they fire up using um, fire um, particles into the sky using the ground based generator um, to make it snow more. Um, but there are negatives of cloud seeding, um, such as um, some, some countries believe that others are stealing their rain by making it rain in their country and not the other. Um, um, also, there's pollution. Obviously, a silver iodide isn't a natural substance in the sky, um, and so this can lead to silver intoxication. However, this is very unlikely because <laughs> um, the exposure to silver from silver iodide is actually 100 times less than ones to a silver um, tooth filling. So, um, and obviously, cloud seeding is still um, quite a new thing. There's also obviously lots of research still going into it, um, as many people still believe. So, for example, some meteorologists only believe that um, believe that it increases precipitation by 30 percent, whereas um, others are still unsure. So, um, it's not completely finished being researched. Thank you. Thank you.